Hello, welcome to the finals of a Vintage Cube Draft single elimination online. And we're right where we need to be on the play with our turn one goblin guide. And we give them a land, but it's a shock land, so maybe they'll uh, hit themselves with it. Then we'll just have to play our abbot out next turn for no value. We could hit one card, the Gataxian Probe, which is the only thing we could play off it, but... Or, that's even better, we just play the Gorger this turn. And then suspend Rift Bolt. Well, maybe we don't suspend Rift Bolt. It's more damage if we wait till after Gutter Snipe. It's not like we need the, the mana so desperately right now. The other cool thing, not just knowing what cards your opponent could have, but the other cool thing about being playing people from your pod is you know that this person is in the finals. Sometimes in leagues, you'll play someone with a different record than you. And that gets, that gets a bit weird, is what I'm trying to say. OK. So Azorius Signet, and then Gutter Snipe. That's one they're going to want to answer. Maybe, but if they take the whole turn playing cast out, it might not be worth it. So they're going to keep ramping up here. They could only play a three drop. And then Gutter Snipe might get four damage or six in on them this turn. And it's just Jace, lowly, boring Jace, which doesn't hurt us at all. So this turn we can do Abbott, maybe we hit a land, which we do. And do we kill Jace here? Well, we'll see. Because I think we kill them if they take it all. They really want Jace alive. Yeah, let's just go for them. If they kill all of our creatures, they're dead to the Rift Bolt. And if not, I'm sure we just win. Yeah, we, we just have too much for them to deal with in one turn. I can't imagine what it would be. They need, like, Counterspell plus Supreme Verdict. And then they might be able to pull something out there. All right, well, the Manic Vandal and Smash to Smithereens look actively good in this matchup, so that's a, a big plus. And we still want to stay low to the ground here. We're not going to put in Emrakul. That's always the choice we have to make whether or not to put in that sneak attack combo, because th this is really one of the best things you can be doing. But without any way to filter through our deck, to search for it or to draw cards, it just dilutes the main power of the deck so much. All right, they're down to six. That's a good sign for us. This might be a, a clean little victory here, but never count the blue deck out. Zergo hitting some bells while dragons are flying around. I never really realized, but this is like some kind of animal here, like a sheep or a camel or a mix thereof. And they have Library of Alexandria, a powerful card, but one they're not really taking advantage of this turn. I wonder, I wonder if we shouldn't just use Richard and Port here to keep them off of one more land because our burn spells will be good at any phase in the game. They're not going to use library, so we just go after this. Then next turn, we use Manic Vandal to kill the Signet. And yeah, it's nice to force them to play a spell. 
uh, before they draw a card. Manic Vandal, yeah, let's be on that plan. They didn't even play a land that turn. Such is the mulligan. Jace, let us draw a card. We could draw a card. I wouldn't mind a card. They did not. So there is a choice to make here. They're kind of stuck on lands, and they have plenty of cards in their hand. Jace doesn't ramp them at all. I kind of want to ignore Jace completely. It'll never get to ultimate. We can ignore Jace completely and attack them. We give up one turn of not doing much. Yeah, I like this a bit better. Just ignore the Jace. They can draw two, three cards a turn. But once we get them down to eight or nine life, we just have them dead to burn. And they have a pretty big board to deal with already. What did we give them? Okay, so they drew Jace as their next card. They did not reveal a land. Right, so all these guys come in at them. If they block a creature, it's the same as us wasting a removal spell on it, so that's fine. We play the Gorger, hold up Chain Lightning or whatever. Actually, I think we want to play out Chain Lightning here. So they don't have to have the mana to do it back to us. So we do Chain Lightning. They're not going to daze it, <laughs> right? Force Spike it. Spell pierce it. Well, I'll pay two for that. We don't want to kill Jace. We just want to do as much damage as we can to them. And then we could put them at one or play a creature. Let's play a creature. Because, if again, if they wrath the board, they won't have enough mana to stop us from bolting them and bursting them. They could draw off of a library here. Activate only if you have exactly seven, so it's a lot harder to do with the mulligan. They have every kind of Jace going on now. They, <laughs> That was pretty clever. They used their last loyalty on this Jace and then flipped little Jace. And now they're stopping Goblin Guide. That's probably the worst one of those to use it on. You'd want to use it on Manic Vandal because you kind of want the Goblin Guide to attack you, and now we just don't have to. All right. Well, they have so much mana that using Rishadon Port first main seems a little weak. And we have two instants, the sum of which is well over lethal. So what is this? Mystic Confluence. Return all of these before any other consideration here. Well, I don't want to play into Daze, so it might be tempting to do Burst Lightning. But I think we just need to use Lightning Bolt here. And they've F6'd, so yeah. Let's, let's finish this game. All right, so Mono Red takes down uh, a competitive draft thing here, single elimination, in the Vintage Cube. So try it out, you know, if, if it's open, you can try this or another aggressive strategy. There's a lot of other cooler things you can do if this doesn't happen to be open. So, you know, good luck in your drafts.